Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm gonna display the changes that were made from Iceborne Longsword to Rise Demo Longsword. I want to underline that we are specifically gonna talk about the demo and not the Rise Longsword of the full game. We already know that some moves are not available in the demo, for example the Sakura Slash with the Warbug we saw in the trailer. There are more moves that will be added in the full game, but nothing has been officially confirmed yet, so I won't spoiler anything in this video. That being said, let's start talking about the new moves connected to the new addition, the Warbug. Soaring Kick It consumes one Warbug, it substitutes the Spirit Trust, it has way more range, you can perform it in any direction even in idle, it's also faster. After Soaring Kick you can decide to perform two actions. Plunging Trust, which gradually refills the Spirit Bar for 15 seconds, or Spirit Helmbreaker. The motion value increases from 25 to 46, the 7 hits will land even if the hunter gets staggered before they appear on screen, you can't no longer move forward, right, left in mid-air. It's faster compared to World Iceborne's one. Doesn't refill the spirit bar anymore. The second move connected to the Warbug is the Serene Pose. A strong counter that activates when the hunter is hit, granting invincibility. It consumes two Warbugs and one spirit gauge. Motion value is 161. If the counter works, it can be followed by a Spirit Blade 3. There are no more new moves in the demo, but some important changes were made to the already existing moves in Iceborne. Special Sheath still lasts 3.5 seconds, but now you can roll if you want to cancel it out. It can be used after an attack, included after Spirit Round Slash and Plunging Trust or Spirit Handbreaker, but not immediately after them. In Iceborne, Special Sheath could be used a bit faster after Spirit Handbreaker and Spirit Round Slash. Quick Sheath will still work with it. The Eye Slash. The motion values increase from 18 plus 13 to 25 plus 30. It can be followed by Spirit Play 2. It doesn't have any iframes nor hyper armor anymore. It refills the Spirit Bar for 10 seconds. In Iceborne it was 15. Punishing Draw and Critical Draw will still work on it. EI Spirit Slash. Now the second hit got split into 3 hits. Motion value on the first hit increased from 39 in red gauge to 50 if the counter is not timed correctly, 60 if it is. Iceborne second hit at 89 in red gauge. Now the three hits have 40 each. If you time it correctly, you level up your spirit gauge. In Iceborne, you just kept the same spirit gauge. If you don't time it correctly, you won't lose the spirit gauge anymore. Iframes got increased and hyper armor is still there. No frame data yet. You can cancel the last part of the animation after the hit by rolling, performing a silk bind attack, or if you time it correctly, sheathing with special sheath or with a spirit blade tree. Punishing draw and critical draw will still work on it. Forza slash. It needs at least one pixel of spirit bar to activate the iframes. In Iceborne, 10% of Spirit Bar was required. Slightly more iframes, but we still don't know if Evasion skill will work with it again, plus Hyper Armor is still there, but no frame data yet. Forza Slash second part of the animation can still be cancelled with a Special Sheath or with Silk Bind attack. Forza Slash's blue aura now activates after a fixed amount of time about 0.750 seconds, after pressing ZR plus A, if you time it correctly. You can adjust the direction of the slash more, looks like 90 degrees or so. 
even if you don't time it correctly, motion value is the same, which is 27. In Iceborne was 12 if not timed correctly, 26 if it was. Spirit Round Slash Now it no longer consumes all the spirit bar when used. Motion value increased from 38 to 42. Miscellaneous After Spirit Play 2, ZR, you press Epsilon, and then you can't use the Trust anymore to continue the combo. You can't special shift before the third hit of the Spirit Blade 3 anymore. After the roll with the longsword unshifted, you can't no longer perform a lateral fade slash, but just a fade slash. Other changes. If you faint, you don't lose your Spirit Gauge anymore. Overall, I have to say it's Iceborne Longsword, but better. Motion values got buffed and it also looks faster. In the full game, a lot of changes might be done, so I will definitely give you an update when the game will be released. That's it for the moment. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comment section. See you in the next one. Bye!